is Eric Karlstad. I'm the co-chair of the Souls of Haverhill Shoe Liberation Committee. Uh, many people have asked me, what are all these shoes about in Haverhill? Um, well, I want to tell you tonight what they're about. Um, it's a public art project. Um, the idea of the art project started many years ago in other cities. I believe the first location was in Switzerland where they did the giant fiberglass cows. Um, the concept was brought to the U.S. Chicago did the cows. Uh, New York has done cows. Boston has done codfish. Um, over in Vermont and New Hampshire, they've looked at, they've done moose. Um, but for Haverhill, which has a very long history in shoe manufacturing, shoe design, we thought it would be great to bring a giant shoe. The idea was to have a public art project that would celebrate our past. A um, big part of it was shoe manufacturing, which kind of de determined the architecture of the city, the life of the city. Um, so that we wanted to pay respect or homage to that shoe production, shoe design. And it's also brought us uh, the community to see the creative abilities of our artists, artisans that live in Haverhill and nearby and, and what they can do. And the, the last element is it's brought people together. Um, it's brought people in Haverhill downtown to the roads to find the shoes. Um, we're hearing stories about people coming from Georgetown, Salem, Billerica, Boston, even out of state to come and see the shoes. So it's a, a exciting, fun project uh, that will hopefully bring people to Haverhill, both residents and people from out of town, to see that this city is definitely changing. It's evolving um, into its, its next stage of a life as a city.